Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, ignore the mess. <laughs> um, I'm just having one of those I really can't be bothered days. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um, <clears throat> welcome, I'm Denise, or well, my name is Denise, I'm Dear Designs, and this is my channel. Blah de blah blah. <laughs> um, yeah, so hello if you are new and welcome back if you are a returning viewer of my channel and I know a lot of people say that they actually if they film on their phone they actually watch themselves I do that and I'm really sorry so lack of eye contact I know that um, <clears throat> I need to move that way a bit more but there's some bits down there that anyway um, I've got a couple of things to show you today and um, if you've watched the last video that I did, the live video that I think went a little bit wrong, but people have commented on it, so obviously you've watched it. I cut up all my knitting magazines, so yes. Um, it's taken me nearly all week just to cut them, sort them out, put them into categories, then put them into plastic sleeves. Um, I have now completed that, but now I have to put them in uh, the ring binder things. Uh, they will fit in the cupboard as they are but they're all slippy and slidey. Uh, I've got them all down here, down the side of me so <coughs> excuse my throat again. But the first thing that I want to show you, um, um, I'm going to go back a few uh, videos but if you remember I made, I called it the bullseye top, it's not, it's the granny tee and it was in inside crochet issue either 51 or 59 something like that and if you remember I made it bigger because the pattern only went to a 42 let me show you hold on one second let me show you um, what I've done now I put just it in this bag <clears throat> it ended on a light pink and a dark pink and look what I did it was miles too big um, so I had to rip I actually cut I didn't rip I cut a stitch and pulled it back um, by that much plus obviously the edging stitch that I had to do or I did sorry um, so I pulled it back that much um, or was it more ah oh, there there is a, a whole side so that's how much I got rid of um, I wanted it to finish in pink because um, I had two balls of this dark pink and I think this is the neck yeah that is actually the neck <laughs> um, but anyway I, I, I'm going to chuck this now I'm not keeping it it's, it's really not worth it um, I can't be bothered to untangle it all and for the sake of just a little bit it's not really worth it so that is going in the bin but here is my finished top and um, I <coughs> Oh, I don't I have altered it um, a little bit as well as just taking that off and restitching it together so this is the shoulders and then the armholes I don't know whether I'm gonna get back far enough um, but this is what mine looks like now and as you can see I'm gonna hold it upside down but at the bottom Oh, that one looks a bit wonky. I don't know what happened now. Oh, that's a little bit better. Um, as you can see at the bottom, I've done like a rib because it was still where I had previously gone into the stitches at the bottom. It was really baggy. So I was thinking, oh, what can I do just to tighten them stitches up a little bit? And all I did was a front post, back post, um, double crochet in UK terms, uh, triple in US, uh, uh, double in US terms, triple in UK terms. I use US terms because that's how I learnt. Um, obviously on the internet I just learnt from YouTube and uh, American 
crocheters and whatever so yeah I've put that at the bottom and to be honest it sort of comes down and sort of hugs me um, I'm really really pleased with it I love it now when I when I first done it I was like mm, I'll probably never wear it I've chucked it in the, the wardrobe and it's been in there ever since I got it out the other day and I was like I really do like that top I'm gonna have to do something to adapt it so I can wear it because I've done all that work on it and I can't wear it so at the bottom it looks more like a jumper now I'm really pleased with it so yeah that's that anyway <clears throat> Um, let me just move that so I can place this down. Oh, that was a bit bright. And my finished object. Socks. I have two. Yay. Um, I have two. Uh, on this second one, I did a stretchy bind off. And on this one, I didn't. I just used a normal bind off. And as you can see, that's as far as I can pull it. Um, on this one... It, the rib won't actually pull anymore, but the um, the bind off will will pull a lot more than the actual rib. But um, I can still get this one on. It's just tight going over my heel, uh, so and I know I won't have enough yarn unless I add a little bit more in. But it's fine for now, and I know for my next pairs. So I have two, and I'm really pleased. The heel on this one hasn't turned out as well as the heel on that one and what I mean is the patterning because one side's green and one side this white and pink so but that's that side stripey uh, but that doesn't bother me I have got more wool out to do some more and that's one reason why I cut all these magazines up because I wanted another uh, pattern for the socks. I know there's hundreds on Ravelry and there is one pair that I want to do which is the Roll City Rollers. Um, <clears throat> they're shorty socks. I can't remember who who's the designer um, but I want to make those because they're only shorty socks and I think I will have enough of this yarn to make shorty socks. I think I've got 48 grams left. Because I didn't make these terribly long, I don't really like long socks anyway, so yeah, as you can see, the leg is a lot shorter than the toe, and um, when you see some people's socks, their leg is a lot longer than the foot, not the toe, the foot. Um, so, yes. Um, then I had the bright idea of, oh, if I cut all these magazines up, then I'll be able to put them all in, like, ladies and hats and scarves and socks and kids and so on and so forth. And when you do something and you start it and you think, oh, damn, I didn't realise it was going to take so long. But it's done now. Um, I just need some binders to put them in and we're good to go. Um, last video, not the live one, the last video, I actually showed you what I got for my birthday, which is on, which was on Sunday. I did, yes. Yes, I did. The video where I showed you all my previous uh, finished items. I actually got this as well, um, but it was too far away for me to show you. Um, but I got this kit, and this is from Aldi. This is the um, Knit Your Own Stripey Socks. Um, it is a double knit yarn, I believe. Double pointed. In the, the contents of the kit is yarn, circular needles, two double pointed needles, two stitch markers, a darning needle, and an instruction leaflet. It's 100% acrylic, and I think they will be fine for socks, uh, but like indoor socks. Um, the colour of the yarn is grey, I'm trying to balance this on my knee, my leg, is a lovely grey, there's no colours or anything, and a lovely beige, so I, it's blowing out, I think it would look really nice as indoor socks, um, or even with boots if it's really really cold, or um, you get a nine inch circular, well, I believe this is a nine inch and that yarn just fell on the floor. Let me just pick that up. You get... Uh -huh. 
you get uh, a nine inch circular, which is a three millimeter, 3.5 mil. Um, I've never worked with little ones like this before, so um, there's always a first time. Uh, I'll try, I'm gonna try those. This is the information leaflet. You get two stitch markers. And you also get um, double pointed needles, which are 3.5, and a darning needle. And to be honest, I haven't got any of the plastic darning needles, so I'm quite pleased that's come with it because I will just put that in my kit. Um, I have never used a plastic one, I just, oh, excuse me, um, I just use the metal ones. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Really pleased with that. Um, if I'm talking a bit funny today, I had the dentist yesterday, if you've seen on my Facebook. Um, I went to the dentist yesterday and I had two fillings. One was up here and one was down here. So I have had two injections and yesterday my whole face was just a bit wonky. Um, I was trying to smile and I was like, it was <laughs> all a bit funny. And um, every time I tried talking and yeah, it was just a bit like... Why am I even bothering? <laughs> but um, it's okay today. I just I haven't really spoke much today. And yeah, I'm just realising that my tongue's going a bit funny. I don't know. Um, then <clears throat> on Sunday, we had my sister's uh, baby gender reveal. And we found out she was having a boy. So really excited for that. And in this bag, I have... This is, this is a project bag, um, I'm ashamed to say. Um, <clears throat> it is an old work bag. I used to work for a company that sold food to this restaurant and um, they just used to give us these wicker bags all the time. I think I've got about five of them, to be honest. Um, they do come in handy. They are quite... I don't use them for shopping. They're not really big enough, but they come in quite handy and I've, I used to use it for work, just put my purse and my phone and keys and whatever in just to make it easier with my lunch or anyway I'm rambling um I am going to be making one of these and I have made one of these in the past for my uh, other nephew um Ian's sister's little boy and I have I did do it in these sort of colors very very similar I made the little hat as well I didn't put the pom-pom on it and I didn't put the um chin strap on but I did do the jumper and the hat to match um, I did them in a bit darker colours than that and this colour here was a cream not a um, spot, spotted colour but anyway I'm, go I'm going to do that the yarn that I have got is um, <clears throat> it's all oddments so forgive me that I haven't got ball bands for any of it. There's a loads of hair inside the bag. Um, it, I think it's new fashion yarn. Um, I'm almost 100% that it's new fashion, which is wool craft. Um, this is a beigey brownie colour. Um, this is, I have caked this up. I've also got a dark brown colour and I've also got a tweedy oh a tweedy colour don't know whether you're gonna be able to see that because of the because of the light damn you light there we go um, it's got flecks of brown navy black on a cream base so I thought those three would look quite nice in a stripy jumper with jeans or things like that um I probably will make this in the size um three to six months <clears throat> um because I have got other plans for other things for bigger sizes more like coats and things um, so yeah that's what's in the pipeline so far um, I have got a pair of socks in mind that light is I haven't shut the curtain today that's why um, I have got a pair of socks in mind um, 
but I don't know when, when I'm going to start those so I don't know I want to try and get that started uh, I've got a lot of YouTube to be catching up on because I've been sorting out all the magazines and whatever that I just haven't had time to sit down and catch up on anything I know that uh, a few of the people that I watch have put videos up. I know Jan from Urban Gypsy Crochet has. I believe Sean is putting a video up today because she put it on Facebook. Um, I haven't actually seen that go up yet, so it might be, I don't know. Uh, it might be up once this is up. <laughs> um, Amy, Amy Edwards from Stranded Dye Works. I know her video is up. The Grocery Girls I've started to watch. Um, they are so funny. Um, I have binged watched them and it has taken me ages and ages and ages to watch from the beginning to now because uh, most of their episodes are over an hour long um, but to be honest when they <clears throat> when I watch back uh, episodes I watch the first half of it or wherever they get up to um, where they're talking about their shop update or stuff that they've got in the mail for giveaways or if they're talking about giveaways obviously that was all done in the past so I don't need to watch that I just want to watch what they're making um, they're, they're work in progress, they're finished objects and any little bit of a, or any other little bit of chatter and the grocery girls do a sock talk um, well it's not talk, it's talk or whatever T-A-W-K um, they do that and I watch that because they love making socks so the amount of different pairs of socks that they've made is unbelievable um, so I've been watching them as well um, and all the other um, usual channels that I watch um, <clears throat> yeah so watch Karen, um, Katrina, Zoe um, I don't want to miss anyone out. Uh, <laughs> why does my mind always go blank? Um, I've said Sean. Ephraim put a video up a little while ago, so I watched that, and he made some lovely ba baby blankets. Um, and who else? I do apologise if I've missed anyone. My mind has just gone blank, but... I've got so many that I watch and I do dip in and out of new ones every now and again just to see if they're something that I can put on my subscription list, um, people that I like. Who else have I been watching? <coughs> no, it's gone. Yeah, it's really gone. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it for today. Um, it's Ian's birthday today. So, I don't know whether we're going to be doing anything today or the weekend, I'm not sure. Um, he's gone to work as usual. Um, life update. I know I sound like Karen when I say that, I apologise. Um, haven't really been doing anything this week other than sorting pages of magazines. Um, went to the dentist. Um, yeah, that was about it. Well, um... The, the, the wearing off of the anaesthetic was more painful than the actual needle or anything else. It was it was horrible. When I, when I came out, I was touching my lip like this and it felt so strange. It felt like I was touching somebody else's face because obviously I couldn't, feel, I couldn't feel it, but I could feel it in my fingertips. Um, it was really strange. And then <clears throat> we popped to um, Ian's mum's and... I was talking and it was getting worse and worse and worse and my mouth was all over the place in the end I just didn't talk I was like no I'm just gonna shut up because what's the point I can't say my words properly um, but I'm so glad that I've actually had the teeth done um, this one down here wasn't painful um, and I didn't even know I needed a filling but this one up here every time I ate every time I drank the pain was just unbearable um, I didn't have a, an abscess or an ulcer or anything like that. Um, it was a hole in my filling and the dentist when I went the first time said that because there's a hole you're more sensitive to hot and cold so that is what the pain is, it's sensitivity. Gave me some Sensodyne to use. I don't, don't really think that it made a difference because the nerve was exposed. Um, I ate my dinner last night and I was a bit like... Mm -hmm. 
let's see what happens. Took a bit of drink, um, cause I always have a cold drink with my meal. Um, I had a bit of drink and there was a tiny little bit of, um, like, oh, that's a bit cold. I'm thinking, oh no, don't start. Took another bit and it was fine. Ate my dinner, fine, no pain. So I was like, thank God for that. But um, they have said that my nerve is so close to the filling. If I get any pain, I will have to, I either have to have it out or have a root canal um, and a cap fitted. I've had one of those already this side, so I know what that involves. But just have to um, wait and see. But there's no pain at the moment. Down here is really achy. Um, and I just think that is because of the anaesthetic yesterday. And obviously them drilling around and whatever. But... Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to let you all go and enjoy your day. Watch somebody else. I don't know. <laughs> um, thank you for all your lovely comments, by the way, saying that I make you laugh and that you enjoy watching me. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I like to make people laugh and I can be really silly and stupid sometimes. Um, I am really stupid just in real life anyway. Um, I say the most stupidest things ever. Um, yeah, so one day, I will I will say this. One day, I did come out with, um, when did people start seeing in colour? Um, now, you may all be wasting yourself laughing and, you're, and you may even be going, why did she say that? Anyway, when I was little, we used to watch black and white films when, we was, when I was at my nan and granddad's. And I just thought that is how people saw. I didn't know no different. I was only little. And I turned to my granddad and said, when did people start seeing in colour? And that is just, that stuck with me for life. Um, yeah, when did people start seeing in colour? And I wanted to know what the first colour people saw. Was it red, blue, green, so on, so on. And then did other colours start coming in or was it just all of a sudden? <sighs> that's that's the sort of silly things that I say um yeah so in real life I am I can say some stupid things <laughs> and people just laugh at me and I, I'm just used to it now I just think oh well I don't care laugh at me as much as you want I don't care doesn't bother me <laughs> I, I enjoy making people laugh and cry with laughter sometimes <laughs> um but yeah hey ho that's just me. Um, I'm really going to go now. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching. Um, sorry if I've bored you. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed and you want to see more of this craziness, then please press that subscribe button. Um, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye for now.